Hello, I'm Dr. Les Lynette. I'm a psychiatrist board certified both in adult psychiatry and also in child and adolescent psychiatry. And we're going to talk about child and adolescent disruptive behavior. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is one cause of disruptive behavior. What's the difference between ADHD and ADD? Actually, there is no difference. ADD is an older term, attention deficit disorder. Uh, the, co more, the modern term, the more recent term is attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. If hyperactivity is not prominent, then it is technically ADHD inattentive type. So ADHD does not mean you have to be hyperactive. You can have the inattentive type, which used to be called ADD. ADHD does not mean you cannot pay attention. Uh, actually, if it's interesting and stimulating, a child can pay attention, and one common example is computer games. Kids with attention disorder sometimes play for hours on the computer, but they have difficulty sitting for a relatively shorter period doing homework. The first known description of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder was written in the, in the 1800s, and it involves a poem about Fidgety Phil he won't sit still. He wiggles and giggles. And then I declare swings backwards and forwards and tilts up his chair. The terms ADHD and ADD still confuse people. Some parents, after I evaluate a child, will say, I don't think my child has attention deficit disorder. My child can pay attention when he or she wants to. Now, that's not really what's happening. It's not that the child is paying attention when he or she wants to. It only seems that they pay attention when they want to. Actually, uh, the example, as I had said earlier, is computer games or television frequent example uh, where they are able to pay attention, but it's because it's stimulating, not because they want to. They want actually to do their homework. They want to get good grades, but they have difficulty doing those things because they're not as stimulating. If I were in charge of renaming the condition, I would not call it attention deficit disorder, even though it is, it is a, uh, an improvement over earlier names. I would call it the search for stimulation disorder, because I think that is more central an issue, stimulation. Children who have this condition, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, are searching for stimulation. If you give it to them, they're fine. If you don't, they look for it. Uh, the symptoms of attention deficit disorder actually involve 18 symptoms. One doesn't have to have all of them, but rather than go through all 18, they can be basically summarized as falling into three categories, hyperactivity, impulsivity, and short attention span, which can be represented as an acronym his, H-I-S. Bipolar disorder is another condition that causes disruptive behavior in children. 